Hello everyone, welcome to today's Remo TV Sports Show. Here my name as your host, Fayemi Kende, and I have with me Mr. Ade, known as Ontor, a Liverpool fan. Good day viewers, I hope. I'm Ogunga James, known as Ontor. So, so you're welcome to today's uh, sports show and now we're talking about Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool winning the, the Premiership over the three decades now. So what's your feelings about that? Very, very happy. And you know, for the past 20 years we've been longing, expecting and also hoping that we're going to lay a hand on that beautiful trophy. But now we can say yes, we are Liverpool. I'm very happy for winning the Premiership trophy. After 30 years. After 30 years. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was a nice one. Now what in this period, what will be the challenges that Liverpool had gone through before winning this premiership? Because I know before they can win this premiership, things will be so more hard, you know, to go through many things like that. So what do you think they have gone through? Uh, well this? actually, you know, last season we we're almost there. And due to some unnecessary you know, fatigue, with lack of concentration, you know, dropping points, having unnecessary draws, you know, having like seven draws, you know, we just lost only one match last season. And Man City took the Mantu, which is the Premiership trophy, by one point. So the challenges, that's what we work on. You know, when our um, club was talking to the the press, he said, we just look towards our wrongdoing, our mistake, and that's what we're going to use to tackle the next season, which is the season. And that is what they work towards, getting the experience of the last season to make, you can see the gap between Man City and Liverpool. And that, that shows to you that definitely they learn from their past mistakes and they work on it. And they got what they want. Now working for work, working through their past mistakes and yeah. getting through that to win yeah. the premiership for yeah. over three decades now. Yeah. Now for me to ask the question right now. So I want to ask that what about the transfer this season? The, the transfer is going to be open very soon. Any hope for that? Are we uh, are there any player coming in or not? Um you, you, you definitely when you look at the past record of uh John Club. We know he's not a kind of person who go for a red meat. He always, you know, build his own player to his own style of play. Definitely, um, Liverpool is going to the market. But one thing about Liverpool and also um, club, he won't tell you the actual player is going to buy. But just like Fabinho, you know, before he got Jack Robinson, he just said, ah. Liverpool signed Fabinho. So something like that and also concerning what Nike you know trying to do by okay I want to sign player to their own you know because they are the brand now. So I don't know but definitely when you see the chemistry of the work of John Club and yeah the team the, the that spirit of togetherness so you won't get a player who is going to break that together. Definitely, you know, a lot of people have been clamoring, we don't have bench, we don't have this, we don't have that. But definitely we're going to get a player. But, you know, club, they're always mindful of what is going to get. Okay. That's it. Definitely we're going to get a player. But I can't, but I know we need bench. That's a fact. Because, you know, we have Arnold and we have Robinson. Then, okay, definitely we have Nico Williams. He's, you know, he can play left, he can play right. And definitely, I know we are going to sign like two or three, three players. Yes. Two or three players coming yes. in for Liverpool. Yes. Hopefully, Hopefully, three or two players coming in for Liverpool. Now, yes. come to think of it, fine, you said it, Nike is coming on board. Now, Nike has requested, he wants a big signing. So what do you think about this big signing? Who among the big signs do you think will come up for Liverpool? Um, I'm thinking of, I uh, just look about my team and I'm thinking well, we should go for Mbappé. I prefer Mbappé. I, 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 you know, you know, uh, we have Salah, Mane, and we have Fabinho. You know, these three guys, they are awesome. 
they are, they are something else, you know, when it comes to banging goals. And, you know, we need someone that will come to challenge these three players. And um, Bobby, we definitely will come to do that. Maybe from the bench or maybe sometimes, you know, this fatigue of a thing or maybe challenges. You know, someone needs to challenge Salah, Mane or Fabinho. Definitely, Mbappe can do that. Mm, fine, Mbappe is a good star, he's a good player. But what about his wages? Because you never thought of his wages. What if Nike, uh, Nike uh, stops hands today like that? And what would be the hope of paying Mbappe? You know, what do you think about that? Definitely, when you look at, uh, that's why I made mention of club. You know, we always mindful of the kind of player he brings to Liverpool, what the wages we're going to play, pay. And you know, Nike bringing Mbappe, definitely they're going to carry the responsibility. And definitely, you know, when it comes to club, we will just tell you, I want to make my player. But if Nike just say, yes, I'm in charge, let me take it. So definitely, that will be a problem for Liverpool to solve. You know, winner of England, winner of Europe, winner of of the world, so definitely there's money somewhere. Now it's about the top four. Now we have Chelsea in the race, we have Leicester City, and we have Manchester United. Who among the three do oh. you think will qualify for the top four? Actually, so difficult. League? So, so difficult. You know, um, like Chelsea, they're seeking for favor from us, which is Liverpool. But definitely, you know, <laughs> Liverpool, when it comes to home record, we don't joke with it, and that's why. But to say the real fact, I'm picking yes, um, Chelsea will escape through, yeah. okay. And um, because of the problem I'm seeing in Leicester, you know, injury problem, and uh, the way you know they drop points a lot. You know, I guess, um, before the second stanza, they are using 13 to 14 points, you know. With as a gap. Uh, as a gap to Leicester, but all, of, all of a sudden we are just seeing, gap is so close, you know, not, fighting not, not, for there's the... no gap again anymore. <laughs> you know, there's so no this one is, you know, you take when you get it, okay. and that is it. The everything is in your hand. Yeah. How are you gonna grab it? So definitely, you know, my unit draw. Chelsea, maybe if you get draw from home because where. Um, Wobanton is taken for Europa, yeah. uh, you know that. So definitely I'm picking Chelsea um, because as a Liverpool fan, I want to pick Leicester. Leicester. Uh, you know, I need to put that because sentiment and stuff. No, yes, but to say the fact, I can put my money on Leicester because nice. the way they have been playing. So I'm picking Chelsea, mind you, but you know, Back of my mind, I'll pick Leicester and okay. Chelsea. Okay, so yes. Leicester and Chelsea, mind you, or Leicester City. Yeah. So whichever one that goes, it's left to them. <sighs> now let's let's take this, the relegation team. <laughs> Who do you think will relegate finally? Will Aston Villa join? Because we know Watford and um, Bournemouth are already there. No, Watford, Bournemouth, Norwich City. Then we have Aston Villa. So, will Aston Villa escape through or will he still go back to relegate? So, what do you think? Well, about Aston that? Villa is playing at home. Yes. Definitely. And you know, away, uh, Watford is going away to Emirates. That's with Arsenal. And definitely, <laughs> you can't expect Watford to go and beat Arsenal at home. That's the last match. You need to, you know, that respect for the. For your home for anything and for the happen, fans. Anything, happen, anything can happen, happen in Premier League, but not the last match. You know, definitely. And again, Papa is not helping matters. You know, sacking coach, three coach in one season. It's not helping. And not this time when you are battling the relegation and you're sacking your coach. Definitely, you are even telling Love everybody it. that it's gone and dusted. So, definitely, I'm seeing Pastor Villa going through. You know, when you see the kind of um, um, the way they play, uh, they, they, they even beat uh, Watford. They beat four or five nil. So definitely, when you look at the goal difference, goals, 
and this thing. Uh, the damn day you will see that as uh, Aston Villa will stay, will stay yeah. put. And now we'll Aston Villa, Aston Villa will stay through. Aston yes. Villa will not stay through. It's left to them. So we, yes. we know they are going to try. So now we say thank you and you're welcome to this program. I really appreciate you coming and uh, really appreciate your comments and everything. So left to Liverpool. Enjoyment. So we are still in the celebration mood. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, so yes, yeah, after yeah, after yeah, after this show, now we're gonna bring on the enjoyment. So, so you know everything is rolling Thank off, rolling off like that. Thank you very much. That will be the end of the show today at Remo TV. I remain your host, Kenny Fire Me. Stay blessed and enjoy yourself.